Guys, welcome back to the channel. Bassington here. Uh, two tournaments ago, I won the online tournament at Lake Chica. Uh, the last tournament online was Toledo Bend. I finished fifth place in that. I've got some other top 10 finishes. And literally, what, 40 minutes ago at the time of this audio recording, the Lake Seminole online tournament has just started. So I'm putting together a quick three place hotspot uh, video three places you can check out Lake Seminole to up your game I want to see more of you guys getting bigger scores getting up there on the scoreboard and hopefully I can compete against some of you and see you up there uh, I'm not going to fast forward the driving from the dock to those locations you can pause the video right at the start or at the each of lo uh, at each location and then follow me driving there and then I'm going to show you actually catching a fish at those locations okay uh, like I say, I've won a tournament, I've got some top 10, so um, I don't need to be somebody that keeps winning and winning. I I'd rather see some of you guys getting up there, and I know some of you get really frustrated. You see people getting 70 pound bags, 80 pound bags, and you just think, oh my God, like where are these guys fishing, you know? Um, so we're heading to the dam. This is a, a hot spot that's, that's been a hot spot on Lake Seminole pretty much since um, the venue was available to play. Um, so we're just going to go around this right hand bend here. You're going to see the dam over in the, the distance there, just on the right hand side. And then what I'm going to be using here is the eight inch spoon. Uh, any of the colors work. Um, I like the shattered glass. Uh, is it the silver or the shattered glass? I can't remember the exact length, but eight inch spoon that'll work here. So you can definitely um, give that a try. So we'll spin the boat around here. We'll just slow down and then we'll park up just off the edge. Okay, so we're cast out we'll just give it a second for the spoon just to drop down the water column and then we'll give it a couple of flicks just to bring it back up and hopefully get a reaction bite from anything in the area oh yeah fish on fish on straight away heartbeat fish as well that's a good start um, so this is going to be location number one there's going to be another two lake locations coming up fish on at the moment and you will get some double digit fish here as well guys and that's the other thing that i'm going to say in the tournament you might get some of these trophy fish eight pound nine pound you know even ten pound but if you want to get top 10 that's a good fish if you want to get top 10 those eight nine pound fish aren't going to get you in that top 10 they're not going to make you win the tournament you're going to need like 13 pounders 14 pounders fish of that size to make a difference so that's number one spot done. We're back at the dock now, heading off to location number two. Um, and again, I'm not gonna fast forward this. I'm just gonna drive it so you can literally stick with me, see exactly where we're going. We're going north again. So turn right out of the, the dock onto the main uh, river and we're gonna head north. We don't have to go so far this time for spot number two, although we will have to for the final spot. Um, but this is gonna be a really easy one to get to. You just say turn right and then you hook a left and then literally right in front of us um you've got this surface cover here so we're just going to pull in just about here and stop our boat okay this time i'm using the uh well i'm trying to use the glidesdale swim bait uh, and a pretty poor first cast there the water here isn't so deep so you don't need something like a spoon in the first location um yeah we're going to pull that back in because that was a bit of a crappy um pardon the pun first cast and yet second cast out a little bit further just into that opening and we've got fish on it's a heartbeat fish again guys what can i tell you i'm just showing you the spots and i'm showing you that they're active again this is a hot spot it's been a hot spot for quite a long time if you don't know about this one you need to get here because i can tell you some of the other people in the tournament are going to be fishing here um, and you're going to find some good fish we pull this one in on the Glidesdale swim bait. And that is good, solid double digit fish. Yes, it is 10 pound and nine ounce. Again, super fish, trophy fish. But honestly, I don't think that is gonna um, get you the win or get you top 10. You need 13 pounders and 14 pounders. But keep fishing these spots, guys. Of course, I'm only getting one or two fish in the video, but you keep fishing that spot. Um, throughout your allotted time you will get some of those bigger fish show uh, and of course I don't like to use the underwater camera but if you do use the underwater camera uh, and then of course you know you will be able to see those other fish around and you can adjust and 
you know, target those fish uh, a little bit more. Moving out then to spot number three, and some of you that uh, already subscribed to the channel, and if you're not already subscribed to the channel, I'd have to ask why. So as we're driving up to the third spot, just scroll down, hit that subscribe button, hit that like button, and then come back up and uh, follow me to this last location because one of my other videos showed where I caught the legendary fish uh, Foxtrot for the second time. And it's that spot that we're gonna be going to uh, for this final um, uh, highlight, I should say, of the three spots I would suggest that you fish in the tournament. There's some other places, there's some really good other hot spots, a couple of little secret honey holes that I'm not gonna share with you that probably I'm gonna be using for the tournament. A little bit laggy on the screen, so I apologize for that. But yeah, just follow this direction, guys. We're going right up north of the uh, the venue. And as I say, if you saw the Foxtrot video, uh, you'll know exactly where this is, but keep coming up here and then you'll see the out of boundaries markers just coming up pretty soon directly ahead of us and it's at that point we'll turn in and um, get to the spot that we need to be reaching um, and in this final spot as well again pretty much like spot number two um, you don't really need anything that's going to get too deep in the water column um, I would suggest to you probably something like again Blydesdale swim baits uh, if you don't have DLC Take the Jenkalistic swim bait, take the Tremor Shad, uh, probably on a size four hook on a jig. Anything like that is gonna do you well. Uh, I would probably say take the Jenkalistic, Blysdale if you have it, uh, Tremor, eight inch spoon, and then something a little bit smaller like a, um, a Shadow Spin Goldilocks. Um, just to target a couple of the fish if they're not biting gives you kind of a good assortment there from slightly mid-range to high range weight of fish so we don't have far to go guys now literally just up in front of us we're going to be pulling up on this left hand side in just a moment and this is going to be the final spot as you can see just on the right the out of bounds markers and it's just in this little point here where the the water starts to narrow so let's pull up our boat and let's just troll a bit closer we don't need to be that far out let's just get in here a little bit chuck that swim bait out there come on hopefully there's going to be some large mouths around hopefully they're going to be big double digit large mouths Maybe not on this first cast. But we do get one on heartbeat. Looks, looks like a good size and feels good. This could be a double digit large mouth on our first cast out at spot number three. And like I say, guys, this is where I caught Foxtrot as well. So it's definitely an active spot, not a spot that many people know about like spots number one and two that are still active even after some time. Hopefully we're gonna land this thing because this is a good fish. Come on, I missed that one, but should get another chance here. Yes, there we go. And that solid looking fish, I know that's gonna be double digit. Yes, it is the biggest of the three, 13 pound of three ounces. Guys, I'm giving you the secret sauce. You just need to drink it. These are three spots that if you try, you will improve your tournament scores this time around. I know you will, I believe in you guys, um, but yeah three spots three active spots and you can see three trophy fish that i've caught this one being the biggest of the three so give them a try good luck in the tournament uh, and i'll see you somewhere there on the leaderboards that's going to be it guys as i said good luck um you know all through the four rounds hopefully you do try all four rounds of the tournament uh, and i wish you the best in catching the uh, biggest fish that you can thanks for watching like and subscribe and as always thanks for riding along